this is teacher Yan and welcome back to our science class so for today's video we are going to have a review on light and light sources and we're going to talk about how we see objects and how to protect our eyes from too much brightness are you ready if you're ready let's begin light comes from light source that source could be the sun a lamp or even a fire it travels in waves from the source until it bounces off an object. When that light meets our eye, it allows us to see things. If there is no source of light, we see black. That's why light is very important. Now, we have some questions here for us to find out. First, can we see an object in the dark? Second, how can we see things? And third, what are the different sources of light? We're going to find out the answers of these questions by watching this video. Where am I? It's too dark in here. I cannot see anything. That's what happens when light is not present. Why don't we turn on the lights? That's awesome. Now you can see me. But do you know that not all objects can produce light? A pencil, a mirror, a book, and a fan are not sources of light. Even the moon borrows light from the sun. So what are the sources of light? Come as I introduce you to the sources of light. Music, please. Like the sun, this little light of mine looks good on a torchlight. Let us shine, let us shine, let us shine. Everywhere I go, light brightens my way. Everywhere I go, light will complete my day. Even for fireflies, light completes their joy. Let us shine, let us shine, let us shine. Let us shine, let us shine, let us shine. Let us shine, let us shine, let us shine. Now you know what are the sources and what are not the sources of light. It has been a bright day for me. Great. Time to say goodbye. Lights off, please. Bye. Great. So light is important for our daily life. We need light and our eyes to be able to see things and do activities. So, having enough light is important. To protect our eyes, light should not be too bright or too dim. Now, these are the guidelines on how to protect our eyes. First, we should wear safety items during welding. Another one, wear sunglasses in bright sunlight. Another one, Put in more bulbs in room with TV. Open the windows or turn on the lamps for enough light when reading. So, those are the different ways and how to protect our eyes. Now it's time for our activities. Please open your books to page 132 and together let's read the direction. Look at the pictures and answer. As you can see here, we have four different pictures. The first picture is the sun. The second picture is sunflowers. Three, book. Four, candles. So, let's answer the questions all together. Which is a light source? Which among these four pictures is a light source? That is right, the sun and candles. So you have to write the sun and candles. What about the pictures which is not light source, which is not a source of light? Of course, it's the sunflowers and the book, right? So you have to write sunflowers and book right here. And for the third question, 
How can we see objects that are not a light source? How can we see objects that are not a light source? When the light from a light source travels to the objects and then to our eyes, we can see objects. Okay, now let's proceed to page 137. Study the picture and answer the questions. Again, we have here a picture of a living room. So inside the living room, we can see a TV, tables, lamp, sofas, the bulb, the windows, curtains, and more. Now, it's time for us to answer these questions. Number one, what are the light sources in the picture? Can you enumerate the different light sources in the picture? That is right, it's the lamp or the table lamp. What else? We also have the light bulbs. Very good. And also the sun. Okay. Now for number two, if the room is dark, will you be able to see things? Why? I repeat, if the room is dark, will you be able to see things? Why? If you said no, then you are correct. We will not be able to see things because there is no light from any light source. And for number three, do you think there is enough light for reading in this room? Why? Do you think there is enough light for reading in this room? Why? If you said there is enough light, then you are correct. There is enough light because the bulbs and lamps are turned on and the windows are open to make the room brighter. So that's all for our activities. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day and goodbye.